So daratumumab map is an anti-CD38 targeting antibody, and uh, it's, uh, it, it has high activity uh, in end-stage patients. Approximately 30 to 35% of the patients respond to this drug, uh, which, is, which is high uh, as a single agent activity. And uh, we have been looking in the lab towards the uh, mechanisms of action of, of daratumumab. And besides the more classic effects of daratumumab, such as CDC, ADCC, and ADCP, we also found that daratumumab is eliminating CD38 positive immune suppressor cells. So we found that a subpopulation of regulatory T cells is CD38 positive, and during daratumumab therapy, these uh, CD38 positive regulatory T cells are deleted, are killed. And, uh, we also found that the CD38 high T-Rex are very immune suppressive, much more immune suppressive than the CD38 low or negative regulatory T cells. And we think that the elimination of these immune suppressors like uh, CD38 positive T-Rex, but also B regulatory cells and myeloid derived suppressor cells, that the elimination of all these types of immune suppressor cells is very important uh, for the myeloma patient because it gives the immune system the chance of recovery. So we see that uh, CD4 T cells and CD8 T cells increase during, T cell, during daratumumab therapy, probably by elimination of severe immune suppression. And at the moment we are checking and looking after the functional relevance of this increase in T cells.